we should have waited to have gotten Matt Ryan. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode here of the Washington Football Maniacs. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. And if you would, please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to come out with videos as frequently as possible, at least on a daily basis. Well, maybe not always on a daily basis, but at least try to put videos out on a weekly basis and as frequently as new news comes out to you folks and with that said let's get into today's video shall we so we are talking about matt ryan right we should have waited to have gotten matt ryan or at least that's what a lot of washington football fans are saying because we washington commanders fans always seem to hate any decision that this team makes I mean, am I right? I know I'm right about this. I mean, come on. We hated the fact that we got, well, a lot of us still hate the fact, let's back up to this. A lot of us hated the fact that the name got changed from Redskins to Washington football team. I still hate that. I mean, to this day, I will always hate that. We finally kind of got used to that. And then, you know, of course, it got changed to the commanders. And I'm still kind of, well, I I am just kind of indifferent from that. You know, at this point, not a big fan of Commanders. I think it's sterile, but that's that's a video for another day. So anyway, then we go out and we get Carson Wentz, and all of us are like, Carson Wentz. I mean, come on. Nobody really, I mean, we were all in for Russell Wilson. You know, I had videos in the past where I'm like, I guarantee we are going to have Russell Wilson on this football team, and he is going to be the day one starter in the 2022 season. And I was right. He's going to be a day one starter in the 2022 season. But for the uh, Denver Broncos. So anyway, now we have... <laughs> now we have Matt Ryan, who, of course, now, you know, he's been the longtime starter for the Atlanta Falcons, multiple Pro Bowl player. You know, he, he is, uh, he's been in the Super Bowl. He's been a fantastic player all these years. You know, fantastic player, um, tough competitor. You know, he's not the most mobile guy, of course. He's your traditional drop back passer. And, you know, I said it before that I thought that there was a possibility that Matt Ryan would be, you know, available. And maybe we would look at Matt Ryan. But, you know, the more that I, I thought about it, I was like, you know, Matt Ryan is really not, he's really not the prototypical quarterback that would fit this type of offense. And I, I think that Ron Rivera and Scott Turner is looking for a quarterback that's a little bit more athletic, I mean, you look back at the offenses that was that was in Carolina. Of course, you had Cam Newton running those offenses, athletic quarterback, right? And then you look at the uh, offense that we've had so far, and you look at the quarterbacks that Ron Rivera has looked at, has tried to pick up. You know, you can even say, well, what about Ryan Fitzpatrick? I mean, he was no spring chicken, right? He wasn't, but he was still athletic enough that he could scramble and he could, you know, pick up uh, first downs and stuff with his legs. Matt Ryan doesn't do that very often. He is strictly going to be your drop back passer. And so I don't think that he was necessarily going to be the best fit for Washington. Now, I could be saying that because, of course, he didn't get picked up by Washington. Had he got... Picked up by Washington, then, yeah, certainly I would be making a video about how, you know, Washington is getting a, you know, Pro Bowl quarterback and, you know, franchise quarterback, and they'll at least have them for the next three years. So, anyway, so Atlanta, you know, they were going to go all in for Deshaun Watson, and Deshaun Watson... Uh, for whatever reason, you know, decides Atlanta is not going to be um, 
his landing spot or either Atlanta decides that, you know, Deshaun Watson is not going to be the fit for them. Either way, Deshaun Watson is not landing in Atlanta. And, of course, you know, Matt Ryan is thinking, okay, you're already deciding that I am not going to be your quarterback. After all these years that I've given you, good years, and you're deciding that I'm not good enough for you, I want to trade. You know, I want to go somewhere else and, you know, go somewhere where I'm wanted, regardless of whether if you decide to go all in for Deshaun Watson or not. That tells me everything I need to know about, um, you know, how much dedication you have toward me as your quarterback. So after the Sean Watson thing kind of falls through, uh, Matt Ryan decides, hey, I want to be traded still. And so the Atlanta Falcons says, okay, all right, so we're going to trade you to the Colts. And so Matt Ryan goes to the Colts. And then suddenly there's this debate amongst uh, Washington Commanders fans. You know, it's, it's kind of funny because – now, Washington Commanders fans are like, we could have waited. Why didn't we just wait a little bit longer? And we knew we were not getting Deshaun Watson. Deshaun didn't want to come here, obviously. And so, we could have had Matt Ryan. And especially when they looked at what the deal was. It was a third-round draft pick for Matt Ryan and it was, uh, I think it was a $24 million, um, uh, you know, pickup of his contract for maybe the next three years. And, um, and Carson Wentz, meanwhile, was $28 million, a third round pick and a second round pick, basically switching the, the second round pick. So you're not necessarily losing a second round pick altogether. You're just switching places. Possibly, well, I take that back. You're giving, um, you're giving the Colts two third round picks, and one of those may turn into a second round pick if Carson Wentz play uh, plays seventy percent of the uh, plays this year in the twenty twenty two NFL season. Did, did you get all that? Because that took a lot out of me to say. So anyway, after saying all that. Washington fans are like, oh, man, we got fleeced in this. We could have gotten a definite franchise quarterback for maybe another year or two for less money and just a third-round draft pick. And this is this is kind of the state of the um, address or state of the manner of how that Washington Commanders fans are. They hate everything. Honestly, folks, I think we got the better end of the deal on this. I think that Matt Ryan honestly fits the Indianapolis Colts better. If you look at historically what the Colts have worked with, um, you know, they've had Peyton Manning. Um, Peyton Manning was not a mobile quarterback. That seemed to fit their style of offense. That worked for them. And then you had um, Andrew Luck, who again, now, Andrew was a little bit more of a mobile quarterback, but he still was more of a drop-back passer, more of your traditional type of passer, a little bit more mobile certainly than than what um, uh, Peyton Manning was, but had a shorter career, obviously. And then you pick up Phillip Rivers, who we all know is not a mobile quarterback whatsoever. He is a statue back there, um, but, you know, again, your traditional drop-back passer. Same way for Matt Ryan, your traditional drop-back passer. So you see the the pattern here. Matt Ryan fits the Colts a lot better than he fits the Washington Commanders. And you look at Carson Wentz, Carson fits the Washington Commanders a lot better. And there's definitely upsides for Carson Wentz for the Commanders. Yes, we realize that there are some uh, question marks that needs to be answered, needs to be corrected for Carson Wentz, but there's also the upside of the fact that he's much younger than than Carson Wentz. And that right there is a good thing. We could possibly have Carson Wentz. If it works out, we could have Carson Wentz for maybe the next 10 years, uh, which would be great if he works out, right? There's a lot of ifs. So that being said, if he works out, then we would have gotten Carson Wentz for a steal. We're not giving up first-round draft picks. We're not, you know, 
At worst, you're giving up a third and a second. And that's pretty good for a quarterback who could possibly turn into a year franchise quarterback for the next several years. That is exactly what Washington was needing. If you go and get Matt Ryan, even if Matt Ryan, you know, plays great for us and we're in the playoffs, that's fine and dandy. But Matt Ryan is probably not going to be playing into his mid-40s. I have a feeling that Matt Ryan will probably wind up retiring in another maybe three or four years at the very most. So then you're going to have to turn around and do this all over again. Now, yeah, you certainly could turn around and be doing this all over again with Carson Wentz if he doesn't work out. But right now, I think the reward is higher with Matt Ryan than, or I'm sorry, with uh, Carson Wentz than is with Matt Ryan. I just think it is. I think that Washington, they chose when they needed to. I think if they had waited, then they would have been out of out of luck, I really think. So having said that, Washington Commanders fans, we got the right quarterback for us. Matt Ryan would not have been the right quarterback for us whatsoever. You know, I like Matt Ryan. He's always been a good quarterback, but Matt Ryan's not going to take you all the way either. I really don't think that. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you are enjoying these videos, you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. I can use your subscriptions. Um, and with that said, let's go Maniacs. Come on, Maniacs. Really support this channel. Support me, and I'll see you in the next one. That one is starting in just a few minutes. <laughs>